Guys, move them on a mile or so, and then head back to the mall. All the mystery we've done so far is man-made. The actual San Antonio River is up there. And the original river walk that was done in 1939 and 1941 is up ahead. Uh, we are on an extension of the river walk, or on the river, with the river walk, of course, on both sides here. This was dug out in the mid-1960s in preparation for a 1968 World's Fair that was held here behind me to my left, which is now mainly in the convention center. It was held to commemorate the 250th anniversary of San Antonio as a city. We won't be going in there, safety constraints will keep us out. But behind me to my right, 20 years later came the mall, 1988. So as we come out here and begin our clockwise loop, we'll be going by the, the next of our three learning docks. We've got a pink boat up there. And then you look right up here, way up high in the sky where I'm pointing. You see on that building it says Hilton Palacio del Rio, Palace on the River. I got a great story to tell you about how the hotel was built in record time for the World's Fair. So you can see you have a room facing the river over here, or on the other side, it's facing the fairgrounds. And now, today, the convention center, so it's a win-win. All right, as we uh, pass this boat up here, this loading dock, take a look to my left at the hotel. Like I said, it was done in record time because we didn't get started on it until quite late, for one thing. So a very little time, we used to go, we had crews work around the clock and staggered ships, built it so fast. The hotel is now in Guinness World Records. It's the fastest hotel of its size ever built. 21 floors, almost 500 rooms, and we did the whole thing in just 202 days. Start to finish, y'all, that's less than seven months. Even more amazing is the way we did it because we soon learned we just didn't have enough time to build the way we normally did back then. So we came up with this very radical new way to build, never been done before, and it was so successful it's become quite commonplace today. Take a look at it here and you'll see this was the first mass use of modular construction. We built from the outside in, just like with the modular home. But think of this, there's almost 500 of them, a modular hotel. So each and every room done it individually from the outside in. A little backwards from what we're used to doing, but it worked. So the way it worked is we learned we could go a lot faster by putting everything inside the rooms first, and then putting the finished rooms in the building one at a time. So then with the plumbing, lighting, electrical, carpeting, furniture, all of it. When the rooms were done, we stacked them on top of each other like the box you see here, attached them to steel cables, hauled them up on cranes, set them right into place. Pretty amazing, huh? So if you picture Legos meets Tetris, mm -hmm. <laughs> gives you a really good visual of what it looked like assembling. And for an even better visual, you can show folks back home who didn't make the trip. Uh, the builders, HP Zachary Corporation, put together a great 20 woman YouTube video. Let's face it, I only had enough time to give the quick Cliff Notes version on the next thing. You had a theater up there. So check it out on YouTube, uh, 21 minutes long. It's called The Tall Story. The whole philosophy of radio, you get a lot more information. And it's quite amazing. And it ends with a grand opening on Monday, the 1st of April. Fair began that very same weekend, just five days later on Saturday the 6th, just in time. Well, like I said, on the next thing is we take this first right turn on our clockwise loop riding west once again. We come in this beautiful outdoor amphitheater called the Artisan River Theater. It's where many of our river parades are broadcast from on TV and hundreds of shows throughout the year on this stage. After you watch the YouTube video of the Hill Palacio Rio back there, guys, watch Miss Congeniality again, the lovely Sandra Bullock. Yeah. By an hour in the movie, you'll see her on this very stage talking about world peace for the evening gown competition. And you'll see those five bronze bells at the back of the stage at the beginning of the scene and realize that they symbolize the five bishops of San Antonio. I was telling you about the Alamo and the other four. You see the audience cheering her on and she says, world peace, and they're all like, yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she comes on this bridge. You'll think of me and laugh, I promise. Because you'll remember how I was just too tall for this bridge too. <laughs> just like that, yeah. All right. So leaving that behind as we continue westward, we got some great photo ops over here to my right, the uh, waterfalls, and then the big sculpture, the cowboy, the Vicano, the Spanish cowboy, big part of our early days, the western of uh, the 1700s and the mission days and everything. So that three-story building you see in there, nine different galleries, it's called the Briscoe Western Art Museum, open most days from uh, 10 a.m. until 5 p.m., 10 to 5. It's got Pancho Villa's last known saddle, Santa Ana's ceremonial sword, a life-size replica of a stagecoach, a lot of neat things in there. Active duty military get in for free. Veterans, just like you and the boats, get discounts. Again, like I said earlier, we are Military City USA. 
Now, when I was a kid, it was a circus museum. I used to love going there. Long before that, way back in 1903, is when it started its first life, currently on its third, as the very first public library in San Antonio. 